Hello everybody and welcome back to Ultra Modded Nuclear Throne. We are back once again. I say Ultra Modded, I more mean Ultra Mod. But then he is. We're going to jump in. I'm actually going to skip Melting for now. I love Melting. He's great. But we're still figuring out this mod. We're still finding things. We're going to jump over to Plant first. And then we'll come back to Melting when we're a little more familiar. Just because Melting is, of course, somewhat of a challenge character. Um, having only 2 HP and all that. But the update is officially out now. The um, update that I had in the previous episode it actually came out just a day after. So update 25 for Ultra Mod is available on itch.io. So go and check it out. Of course, lots of changes, lots of tweaks. Just generally, I've got to say, this is like one of the best mods for any game I've ever played. <laughs> it's so good. It's so unbelievably good. It's it's it's, it's like this. This is like akin to what um, Anti-Birth was for the Binding of Isaac, in my in my opinion. It's really, really high quality. Really good. Like, I'm just, I'm impressed by, like, how seamless everything is, and I'm really impressed by the performance. Damn, this game with this mod runs so much better than my old modded setup used to. Like, so much better. Anyways, enough rambling about that. We're going to jump in. Um... Duh, 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 duh. I think we should probably just take Rhino skin for now. It's a pretty guaranteed, uh, pretty guaranteed benefit early on. I'm a little worried about having only a grenade pistol here, but I will somehow make it work. It's actually, this, this thing's really good, but I'm just a little fearful that it's explosive and I am, in a word, an absolute moron. And I will end up killing myself with it. So I'm, I'm looking to trade it out whenever possible, because as you can see, my health is slowly but surely diminishing. But yeah, I'm super happy to be playing this game again. Like, I just, with with the old setup I had, I really enjoyed it. I think the mods I had were pretty awesome. But I've been playing them for so long. I've been playing for a very long time, for those of you that didn't know. That I kind of, um, ooh, that's very cool. Uh, I kind of got into a bit of a funk with it. And it's just really nice to have something new. Um, yeah. Uh, ooh, we'll take the Salava as well. That's another um, mute that's going to be very, very strong for us in the early game. I really like this charger. But... Flame shotgun early on is pretty good. By the way, another thing, I, I've said it a few times before, and I said it even in the last episode. I do have a, a big issue of not using my abilities in this game, like, at all. And I realize that a lot of people that are veterans of this game are going to be really annoyed by that. Something you're just going to have to learn to live with, because I just don't use them. I don't find them all that useful, especially stuff like for this character with Snare. Like, the game... I just think that the game's too hectic and things die too quickly for it to ever really be that big of a concern to be using it. I mean, there's some places where it's pretty good for, like, blocking assassins and stuff like that, but otherwise, I just I just kind of feel like it's slightly unnecessary. Look what I did, guys. Don't make me accidentally destroy the car, please. Let's see what we got here. Bubbler. Holy shit, what the hell? That's ridiculous. I love it. Let's right, just get in the car before we forget. We did it. And we'll take, honestly, we'll take Insomnia. That was really good in the last run that we had it in. I like it. But yeah, we finally got here and unlocked uh, good old YV. But the bubbler seems insane. Like, actually insane. With Patience, it's, uh, Patience, sorry. It's called, it was called Patience in the other one. And this is called uh, Insomnia. With Insomnia, it's really good. I don't know if I can kill myself with it. Uh, game mode unlocked. We definitely need to try some of the alternate game modes at some point as well. That'd be pretty fun. Golden screwdriver. I guess we'll take it. I always forget that that's where you normally get golden guns. This, this thing's insane. I love this. Wow. Wait, does it use regular bullet ammo too? Or does it? Oh no, it does use explosive. Good. I thought it used bullet ammo for a second there. Oh my god, this is so good. With uh, Insomnia, we get like a full like 10 seconds on every stage where you can just get in there and wreck everything. Give me that health quickly. We're pretty much out of ammo here, so we're going to have to... Oh, there you go. We got a good weapon. Ooh, look at this thing. Oh, beautiful. The weaponry, the modded weaponry in this is so good. The frost glove. Whoa. Okay. I've got to take this. I, I, I just love that it has me switching my weapons up so often 
and none of them feel particularly useless or ridiculous. Like, they all feel kind of in the realms of possibility and pretty entertaining, pretty enjoyable to use, pretty powerful. None of them seem underpowered or overpowered, at least in the early game. God damn, that's, a, that's, that's beautiful. I will say... Oh, I... Okay, that was fine. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> that was that's pretty cool that it frees enemies. I did forget that the uh, the crystals insta kill you on um, on contact. Probably should have been my my first thought, and I'm sure many of you saw that coming from a mile away. I, however, did not. Blood pistol. But yeah, it's just I will say before I started this episode, I ate my food, I ate my tea, and I had a curry, and it was ginormous. It was ridiculous amounts of food, so I am incredibly full. And I mean, like, I'm kind of, do you know when you get to that level of you've eaten so much, you kind of just need to sleep and nothing else? But then I realized, but I have an episode to do, so there ain't no rest for the wicked, I guess. Bullet popper. Ew. So I was like, do you know what? Let's go ahead and do it. Um... Some kills generate ammo... I mean, Recycle Gland is actually pretty good with what we've got going on right now, right? Yeah. We might not always have the uh, the bullet popper here, but for, wh for while we have it. So for bosses and stuff, the snare is actually pretty good, but otherwise, not really my thing. Blood Bullet Shotgun. Awesome. I like this. I like this. And it uses bullets too. The bullet shotguns are pretty cool. I'm liking them. But yeah, I think more than anything with this mod so far, I'm just loving the vast, vast amount of quality of life changes. They're really good. Like, just, just stuff like that. Give me a bit of a better indicator of how much ammo I've just gained. It's awesome. This, okay, th this thing is maybe not the best for this area specifically, just because we're kind of penned in kind of struggling to hit things properly. Triple blood gun. I like that. Okay, that's pretty awesome. Where's the last enemy? Did you just sneak behind me over here? Yes, you did. You little cheekers. You got round me. In a wide open area, this thing's gonna slap. And can we get anything to jump onto that? I think, actually, we, we had a good time with Bloodlust last time, so I'll take Bloodlust. It, it seems that the Blood Bullets remove enemies' bullets. Like, delete shots out the air. I think we can go with a Bazooka here. Nope. <laughs> oh, I spoke too soon. That is another thing you'll notice about me. I've said it in the last episode as well, but you'll hear it in this one too. You'll probably hear it quite a lot from time to time. I'm a very risky player. I do not play properly or correctly or in any way safely. I die a lot to really dumb things, such as exploding myself to a bazooka that I fired at point blank range. It doesn't mean I'll ever stop doing it, but I just thought I'd let you know. Blood pistol again. I'm gonna leave the blood pistol this time. I could I could go back to menu and actually change over to the golden um the golden screwdriver, thinking about it. But do you know what? I'm pretty happy to use the pistol right now. Oh, regular grenade launcher. It's been a long time, my friend. Nice. This thing's going well. Regular grenade launcher is is a good friend of mine. Definitely a dangerous one, but definitely a good one. Okay, good. We go through. I really like the little, uh, opening animation of the portal too. I don't know what's different about it, but so something's different. There's like a, maybe a delay to when it opens or something. It looks really nice. Big bandit. Whenever he spawns in because of that animation, I'm always really confused where he spawned in. But it's always very close to me. I'm, I'm, I'm realizing that. Good. Jawbreaker's pretty good. The Jawbreaker's actually very good. The Jawbreaker's kind of like a doubled slugger. I don't know if it's quite as strong as a doubled slugger, but it definitely feels like it is. It's very, very good. Um, I'll take Gamma Guts. Gamma Guts is uh, going to protect us from death like we had earlier on, which is, of course... Seemingly quite a big threat to us, especially if we know the bluff type weapons now. Also, as I say, in this area, can't you just walk into everything? Pretty much. I love that. Save us on some ammo. 
Apart from that guy, of course. We are going to have to unfortunately kill you the regular way. What we got here? Triple blood gun? Yeah, do, do you know what? Let's let's go through here, actually, first. We've not been through here yet. Has Pizza Sewers changed much? Seemingly so. Seems a bit different. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not, it's not. It's still a short little stage, but it is an extra stage nonetheless. Uh, do you know what? Back muscle is something we haven't taken yet as well on the on these runs. Back muscle could be pretty good for us. Ooh. There's like a line of assassins here. But we got him. We got him. Really does feel like a strong um a strong slugger. Yeah. There we go. I don't know why I'm using the disc gun. I realize how risky that is. I probably shouldn't be. Oh, you bastard. I almost killed myself with it already. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I keep saying why am I using this and then continue to use it, but... You know how it goes. Good, good. We are away. Yeah, look, it's like kind of a... Just more of a little slow opening animation. I think it looks really nice. Good, good. We are powering through right now. I think we've got a really good setup so far. I think our mutes are, uh, are really nice too. I think maybe like a second stomach or something could add quite well to this. Oh, also, apparently people have been telling me in the comments, which is a very interesting thing to uh, to find out. Because I never played this game when it was like uh, sort of hot shit. I never played this game as it was updating and as it was progressing. A lot of the things that I'm seeing, such as this dude, um actually are the original versions of what they looked like before they got like resprited or changed in future updates but ultra mod is actually based on a much earlier version of the game that guy almost killed me then wow um so yeah there's a lot there's a lot of things here that i'm saying well this is new this looks cool this looks good and it's actually just that they're earlier versions of things that used to exist but got changed and honestly I, I i really like the old versions a lot more in a lot of cases here i don't know if it's just because they feel fresh maybe it is just because they're new that they that they uh sort of appeal to me more but still yeah i don't know i don't know what it is i'm, I'm liking them a lot I was like, where the hell is he? He's like, there's not much of this floor left and he's just chilling back there. Yeah, you're gonna die real quick, sir. I fired a lot of discs at you so far. I think the discs have maybe one less bounce too. They don't seem quite as, um, ooh. They don't seem quite as deadly to myself as they normally are. Oh, toxic ion cannon. That's pretty cool. Eagle eyes is just a must take now, which is a bizarre thing to be saying, but it, it really is. So how the hell does this yo-yo gun work then? Well, is what it... <laughs> that's how it works. It works well. And you see, that's where Gamma Guts comes in. Right, so the ion cannon. That's amazing. The fuck? God damn, this thing's mini flame cannon. Oh, there's some just... I just love the fact that there's like miniature and large versions of like every single weapon that exists now. And there's like double versions of the triple weapons and uh, there's double wear versions of the single weapons. It's just all like, very cohesive, very natural feeling, very, very vanilla feeling. It's really good. We got the leecher. Don't know what that does. Oh, okay. It's just like a blood crossbow. Ah, if it sticks into an enemy and doesn't kill them, it bleeds them for a short time. I can get behind this. Oh, although, I just realized we're now using the same ammo type twice. Let's not do that, shall we? It does mean that we find more of that ammo type, but I tend to not like to do that anyways. Energy weapons use a lot of ammo. Damn straight they do. Damn straight they do. It's a lot of ice on us right now. Like, we're seeing that, like, the impact of this flame gun is very strong. If it hits directly, it does it does a very good job. Also seems to travel for a decent amount of time, too. Oh, 
Crown Vault. Oh, what? I'm on 10 out of 8 HP. Patience, um, Insomnia, sorry, is, is just a must-take for me right now. I got told to take the Party Crown. I don't know how much I trust that. <laughs> uh, but we're going to give it a go. Crown of Disco. Give it a go. Oh, Lord. Oh, God. So, I was told it's quite visually flashy. You're damn right it is. It looks... My eyes. My poor eyes. I'm never doing that again. <laughs> it, like, the colours at the side are really cool, but every time I shot, the screen flashed white. It hurt my eyes a bit, that. I apologise to any of you out there that that also hurt the eyes of. The short gun. <laughs> oh, my God. It's like a baby sauna. I love it. It's like a wee little thing. How cute is this? It reminds me of the Force of Nature from uh, TF2. The Scout Shotgun. That's what it's called, wasn't it? Force of Nature? I think I'm right on that. What the hell? That guy got me. I'm playing very aggressively right now, though, so that's fair. Assault Pistol. You see what I mean? There's, like, miniature versions of every gun. It's brilliant. Like, everything is just... It's just so cohesive, and everything just slides together so nicely. I love it. It's one of my favorite things about this mod. And we can get pickup drop. Does that mean on kill we have a chance of getting, like, ammo and health? Maybe? Yeah, it seems like it. Yep, there you go. We hit an enemy and we got some ammo. So it doesn't even seem like it's on kill. It's, it's literally on hit. This is incredibly good. I think this is actually better than the regular assault rifle because it's like faster firing. The popo. And look at that. It's like we're, we're like pretty much got infinite ammo because he's dropping ammo every time we touch an enemy. I don't know which portal I've entered here. We'll find out soon, I guess. Trigger fingers sounds good to me. Okay, we did enter the crown vault. Okay, so no more party crown this time. I think this time we'll keep our head bare. A bear head is a fair head. Ooh, we also got weapon drop. Wait, what? Have we got... Oh my god. So wait, are we going to be dropping weapons and ammo and health upon hitting an enemy? That's pretty insane. I wonder what the chances for weapon drops are. Okay, we got a weapon there. Don't die. No, don't die, don't die, don't die. Did that guy fire a missile at me? <laughs> Go away. This floor's nuts. What the hell's that, dude? Ah! Oh my goodness. <laughs> I've never experienced one of those before. That was crazy. I didn't realize how nuts those floors were. I've been to that floor like five times. I've never really noticed how crazy difficult it is. I like that, though. Bit of extra risk, bit of extra reward. Risk reward is like the spice of life in roguelikes. Um, I think we'll take second stomach early on. Second stomach's pretty good. Nice. Cleaned up them quickly. Grab, grab, grab. And we shall go through. The grenade launch is so satisfying to use as well. I don't know if it's like buffed or something, but it feels real good right now. Pop rifle is good. And our last little fella. Goodbye, Scorpione. So many of these mutations are buffed. I think some of the, in this like most recent patch, some of the Ultras got buffed as well. The Ultra Mutations. I'm interested to see some of them. I'd like to be able to see a plant one on this episode if possible. But I also don't have a ton of time for this episode. And I keep dying, so... <laughs> Maybe not the most plausible thing for us today. I'll try. I'll certainly try. But I'm not having a great time right now. I'm, I'm playing pretty bad. It's all my own fault. I realise that. I'm not... 
blaming it on anything other than my inability to not walk directly into guaranteed damage. But part of the fun, people. Some people will really enjoy the way I play this game. Some people will really hate it. It's fine. I'm just going to keep doing, doing what I do best and dying excessively. I love the shotgun. And people will be, probably be like, use the snare, you moron. I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I really need to use it more often. Um, Insomnia or Rage. I think Rage with a shotgun could be incredibly good. Yep, it's feeling pretty good. I don't know how much it's affecting it. It seems to be firing somewhat faster, though. Good, good. Flame... Flame Director Shotgun. Ooh. Okay, okay, I can get behind that. I don't know what the Director items do, really, what, what they mean, but... They seem good. And mixing it with a Flame Gun... I can definitely get behind that. But yeah, we're on 11 out of 8 HP. What's going on with that? Second stomach again. Can, can you... Is, is it just the case that you can overheal in this in this mod? That's really nice if that's the case. Might be a little overpowered late game, though. I'm wondering how exactly it works. Does it work on every health kit? Does it only work on some? Does it... I don't know. Kraken Pistol again. Oh, hello. You have become quite the nuisance there. Okay, I think we've got a few boys lying, or lying in wait over this way. Nice. You the last one? Nope. One more, one more, one more. Um, hello, sir. Would you volunteer yourself for a swift death? Thank you. Up to level 4 as well. Uh, Rabbit's Paw. Rabbit's Paw is actually really good. I haven't taken that in the entire time I've been playing Ultra Mods so far, and it's very, very good. So. There's a lot of cars in the way right now. A lot of cars in the way. What the hell? Oh, come on, bird. Don't jump directly over my head. It's just rude. Where's the sniper? Did I kill him? I think I got the sniper without even realizing. Mate, wait a minute. I'm, I I don't know if it's true, but I'm holding one of these director weapons, and I'm seeing a lot of enemies using the same weapons, the red ones. Look at these, these dudes here. Like, there's a lot of them on this one. Maybe it's just chance. The dead glove. Mm, I don't know what the dead variety of this does, but I like it. Maybe this is just the base version, no element. This is awesome. I wonder if I can survive explosions. Yes, we can. This is awesome. Right, there was another cool weapon here. What was this? The bomb launcher. Oh, I think we had this before, didn't we? Yeah, that's pretty cool. I don't know if we actually did have it before, but I like it. Wait, it's the, uh, it's the dead glove. The dead glove are using explosive ammo too. Intriguing. Well, I wouldn't have expected that. Explosions kind of rule our life right now, so we might want to change out of that as soon as possible, but... Okay, these are sticky. I've just learned that. They are, like, ridiculous radius, too, which is fun, but incredibly lethal. I also just accidentally dashed directly into my own bomb there. Not a good idea. I'm not a smart man. Holy hell, I'm so close to killing myself multiple times here. Right, get that in there. Oh, I managed to hit the boss somehow. Oh, that's where he is. I see him now. I killed myself. It was... I told you it was going to happen. I told you it was going to happen. Explosives and me. We don't mesh. 
We do not mesh. Blood rifle, nice. I think, so, it's seemingly the blood weapons in this mod are a little bit weaker. They don't deal quite as much damage, but they have kind of higher fire rate, and they can remove enemy shots. They also seem to have a bit more of a limited range, too. They, they seem pretty good, though. I, I quite like them. They're a little bit harder to use, but I, I they've got a lot of utility. Obsidian throw. It's quite literally a throwing knife. Okay. I don't know how useful it is, to be honest. It doesn't seem that good. Bouncer revolver. The damage definitely leaves something to be desired. But, like, if you get this with a... Um, with a lowered enemy's max HP thing, it'd be pretty good. Grenade launcher. I've realised that I'm picking up the grenade launcher again. Not a good idea for me, but... I cannot be stopped. Like, picking up with this. Scarier face. I think it could be pretty good. Hello, big bandit. I will definitely grenade you, because you are a nuisance. Good. A e. Extra heal in there. Nice. Now, I think I will take the bullet popper, though. The bullet poppers have been very nice. I want it with extra bouncy shells, though. I've not... Oh, there you go. Shotgun shoulders. Exactly what I wanted it with. I think it could be incredibly entertaining with this. Wait, which is which? Bullet popper and... Oh, we just had two bullet poppers. <laughs> yeah, this is cool. I like this. Oh, wait, what? Something opened over here. Oh, what? Well, <laughs> the sewer grate opened somehow. Spiral slash shotgun, yes. Oh, that's amazing. With the setup we currently have, that is genuinely amazing. We also got something here as well. Let's take strong spirit here. Oh, it's just a gold screwdriver. We don't need that right now. With the bouncy, this is quite incredible. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking shotgun shoulders right now. It's doing a lot for me. Like, look how far that reached. Uh, let me pass. Oh, god damn it. I wanted that gun. I wanted some health. Fire turrets over there. Using it in super close quarters maybe isn't the best idea. But doing that works pretty well. Destroyed you pretty quick. Just the base SMG. I think we're fine for the base SMG, thank you. Get in there with all that. There's some fire going on. I don't mind a bit of fire. Wait, what? There's other enemies left? Oh, is it a bird? Is it a stupid crow that dukes me out? It is. Goddamn crows. Okay. Probably bloodlust here. I don't know why there was a bunch of rads on the floor then. Good. The super crossbow there. I could definitely take a super crossbow, but I don't really have the ammo to do it yet. Okay. Is that as good? I don't know. So we got we got that. Oh, we got. Nah, that's way better. <laughs> it bounces way more. Fish can walk, really. Good to know. I feel blessed for having this knowledge. Gatling bazooka. 
the old classic. This is such a good setup right now. Like, surprisingly so. It's doing really well. Good to go again. And... Maybe not. Let's just go with Rabbit's Paw this time instead. A single enemy will use that, more enemies will use the other. Good, good. Super crossbow again. Really wants me to pick up that super crossbow. I'm okay, thank you, but thanks for the gesture. Okay, that guy's firing swords at me. Not thank you kindly. Go away kindly. The slugger cannon as well. Do you know what? Bullet Popper, you've been good to me, but Slug Cannon? Slug Cannon seems like it could really be the next step in the evolution. Just because the damage is like... Like, the spread isn't quite as much, but the damage is significantly higher. I think it's the next step in the evolution. Especially for what is coming next with Little Hunter. We need something that's going to kill him. Snap, like that. Quick kill. Also, this video is meant to be going out in three minutes, so I apologize if it's late. Because I have clearly not finished the recording the episode yet. Quadruple flame director shotgun. Oh my god. That's absurd. I love it. I just want to see the ultra. Whatever his ultra is, and then I'm good to go. <laughs> to be fair, there's, there's a possibility I could die on this stage. This is always a bit of a hectic stage. So that, that police dude was wrecking me up then. Back down the square. Oh god. Oh god. I got some healing really quick there. Auto crossbow seems like a good grab right now. Okay, we made it through that floor, but only just. Okay, this, this guy can be a bit of a painful boss sometimes, so... Yep, there you go. <laughs> We're going to leave it there. Like I said, that's pretty much all I have time for today anyways. I hope you guys did enjoy though. This was actually a really fun episode. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.